Hi, Andreas here from On Page One Media. Hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit about changes that have happened recently and how you can help us overcome some of the little drawbacks that 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 come with it. And that is basically something to do with reviews on Google Places. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if I go to a search for, say, Flowers Christchurch, you can see all the florists pop up here. And there's the map. So this is what Google Places is all about. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is the reviews here. So you can see here this first one has nine reviews, the next one 11 reviews, nine reviews, seven reviews. And then look at the, the remaining ones down here. They have none or only four reviews, two reviews, four reviews. So what does that tell us? It tells you that the reviews have a very strong ranking factor. And it's not absolute, so, so 11 is not necessarily in front of 9, but if you have no reviews, you have no chance of being at the top. Now, this is very powerful knowledge, and this is what we need to achieve for your ranking. If we're doing Google Places for you, we need to get you at least more rankings than any of your competitors. And you can see after, once you've got four, or five or more reviews, then you start getting these five stars. Now, that's a very powerful thing and very good position to be in. Let's look at some other listings here. Personal Trainer Wellington, look at who's right on top here. Interestingly enough, the guy with 15 reviews here. The next four reviews is next, and then six reviews, six reviews. So again, we can see correlation here between reviews and ranking. Again, it's not the only thing, but it's very, very important. Heat Pumps Christchurch, look at that. Who's the number one? Okay, that's a very big company. They only got one review, but look who's in position number two. A guy with eight reviews. And look at all the other guys there. Are there any reviews here? There's one guy here with two reviews, but the rest have pretty much no reviews, and that's the reason why they are not ranked as high as this guy. So if so, for example, if you were now if you were to be BT air conditioning, one of the things I would immediately recommend to you, get some client reviews. And you have a better chance of outranking this guy here. And of course we'll keep monitoring this guy here and make sure that he has more reviews than that guy. Okay, so that's how it goes. So how are they being used? So one is what I showed you here is basically directly on a web browser. You also get people going to using mobile. So these are apps that people use on a mobile. And you can see here, this is exactly how it looks like on a mobile thing. This is the Google Places app. People type in pubs. They, what, what shows up right in front? Right in front are the reviews, right on top. So they're even more important than anything else. And, and look about it in reality. If you want to go somewhere, you're choosing between A, B, and C, the reviews are a very important thing. And obviously, if you see someone with one-star or two-star reviews, that doesn't look very good, does it? So you want to have good reviews. Okay, here is what happens if someone now, say now you go to this guy here and you press on this button here on the reviews, you come to this thing and you can write a review and the client leaves a review. That's exactly how the reviews happen. There's another thing as well, and that is like things like Finder. They also use reviews. You can see here, this is a Finder. We put uh, flowers on cashmere in here, and guess what? They, what do you see here? Five-star review based on six reviews. So there are some reviews here. And if you go to the Finder listing, you can see here is the details of that company, and down here is where you leave a review. Now, we want to urge you to send us a review at least at least one every two weeks or so. And the way you do that, I've prepared this for each and one of you, and if you need more information, please talk to me. Basically, it's like this. You would have received a, a, a sheet like this, and down here are the instructions on exactly what you need to do. So you print this out. So this is on the front of the card, and it basically says, our biggest goal is to create happy customers just like you. Like any good business, we love referrals, and a glowing review from you would mean the world to us. Can you please do us a big favor and give us a five-star review? And then the people can either scan this code in here and then leave a review, or they, there is a code here. This is a specific code to you. Obviously, it's not XXXX. It would be something else. And they type that in. And on their web browser, they come to that page that I was showing you earlier, and they leave a review. Alternatively, you on the other side of that card, when you print that, you, you use this kind of thing, and they can handwrite it, and they can give it five stars. They circle the five stars here, and they give it to you, and you, in turn, give it to us, and we will do the posting for you. Never, ever do it yourself. Hey, this is this the hot tip for the month, and I wish you well, and please send us your reviews. Thank you.